Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on penetration testing. Do you know friends that white hat testers have worked for more than 50 years easily since the mid 1960s and with increasing sophistication and to ensure that computer systems stay secure from hackers attempting to degrade or even destroy information networks. As computer gained the ability to communicate information across the communication lines, the difficulty of keeping information safely arose. Now before we discuss today's agenda, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. First, we are going to discuss about what is web pen testing. Then, we are going to discuss about penetration testing approach. Moving ahead, we are going to discuss about types of testing. Then, we are going to learn about steps for penetration testing. Later on, we are going to discuss about tools used to perform penetration testing. And at the end, we are going to discuss about certifications for web testing. So let's start with what is web penetration testing. With over 640 terabytes of data traveling across the globe every minute, there is a lot of information to be stolen and a lot to preserve. A penetration test, which is also known as a pen test, simulates a cyber assault on your computer system in order to identify exploitable flaws. Penetration testing is widely used to supplement a web application firewall in the context of web application security. Pen testing might involve attempting to penetrate any number of application systems. For example, application protocol interfaces, front-end and back-end servers in order to discover vulnerabilities such as unsanitized inputs that are vulnerable code injection attacks. The penetration test results can be used to fine-tune your web application firewall security policies and address the found vulnerabilities. Now let's check why pen testing is required. The most prevalent word we hear when we are discussing security is vulnerability. When I first started studying about securities, then I was frequently perplexed by the term vulnerability. And I'm sure many of you. For the sake of my all the viewers, let me first define the term vulnerabilities and pen testing. So what exactly is vulnerability? Vulnerability is kind of a phrase which is used to describe defects in a system that can expose it to the security threats. Now, vulnerability scanning enables the user to find the known flaws in the software and identify solutions to resolve and improve the overall security of the application. It simply determines whether the security patches have been installed or whether the systems have been properly configured to make attacks more difficult. Pen test typically simulates real-time systems and let the user determine whether the system can be accessed by the unauthorized user, so if what damage may be inflicted and to which data and so on and so forth. As a result, vulnerability scanning is a detective control approach that offers solutions to improve security programs and ensure flaws do not reappear where a pen test is a preventive control method that provides a comprehensive picture of the system's weakness. Now, if I talk about the importance of pen testing, pen testing aids in the discovery of previously unknown vulnerabilities. It also aids in determining the efficiency of overall security procedures. It aids in the testing of publicly exposed components such as firewalls, routers and DNS. It also allows users to determine the most vulnerable path through which an attack can be carried out. It also aids in the detection of flaws that could lead to the theft of sensitive data. Now let's study about the types of pen testing. There are two types of pen testing. These methods are basically internal penetration testing and external penetration testing. If we talk about internal penetration testing, its name implies that it is performed within the enterprise over LAN and hence includes testing web application hosted on internet. This aids in determining whether or not there are any vulnerabilities within the corporate firewall. We always feel that assaults can only occur externally and internal pen tests are frequently disregarded or undervalued. It essentially covers malicious employees attack by disgruntled employees or contractors who have resigned but are aware of internal security regulation 
and attacks on passwords, social engineering attacks, phishing simulation attacks, and attacks using user privileges or misuse unlock terminal. Now, let's discuss about external pen testing. External attacks from the outside the enterprise includes testing web application hosted on internet. Testers act like inexperienced hackers who are unaware of the inside system. To mimic such assaults, testers are provided the IP address of the target system and no additional information. They must search and scan public web pages for our information on target hosts, then breach the host and detect it. It consists mostly of testing servers, firewalls and intrusion detection system. Now let's discuss about pen testing approach. Phase of planning or before testing. Before testing begins, it is best to plan what types of testing will be performed and how the testing will be performed and whether QA will be required the additional access to the tools, among many other things. Next, if we talk about inside the planning, we have scope of definition. Similar to functional testing, we establish the scope of our testing before beginning our testing activities. Second thing we look upon is documentation, whether it is available to the testers or not. We must ensure that testers have all the necessary documentation, such as those detailing the web architecture, integration points, web services integration, and so on. The testers should be familiar with the HTTP or HTTPS protocols, as well as web application architecture and traffic interception methodologies. Next is defining the success criteria. Unlike the functional test cases, whether we may deduce expected results from the user needs or functional requirements such as pen testing operates on different model. It is necessary to define and approve success criteria or test case passing the criteria. Next is reviewing the test results from prior testing. If prior testing was ever performed, it is a good idea to analyze the test findings to understand what vulnerabilities existed in the past and what remediation was implemented to resolve them. This always paints a more accurate picture of the testers. Next is we have understanding the environment. Before beginning the testing, testers need to learn about the environment. The face should verify that they understand firewalls and other security procedures that must be disabled in order to execute the testing. Next, we have phase of attacks or execution phase. So while testing, web penetration testing can be performed from any location as long as the internet provider does not place its limit on the ports and services. It conducts tests with diverse user rules. Testers should run the test with user role. Systems may behave differently with respect to the users with varying privileges. Next, if we talk about, we have knowledge on how to deal post exploitation. To report any exploitation, testers must adhere to the success criteria stated in the phase one. They must also adhere to the stated process of reporting vulnerabilities discovered during testing. This stage mostly entails the tester data mining, what needs to be done after discovering that a system has been compromised. Next, we have generation of test reports. Any testing done without good reporting does not benefit the organization much. And the same is true for web application penetration testing. To ensure that the test results are correctly shared with all the stakeholders, Testers should write comprehensive reports that includes details on vulnerabilities discovered, testing technique severity, and location of the problem discovered, to be carried out when they have discovered that the system has been compromised. Now let's on the post-execution phase. Once the testing is completed and the test findings are distributed to all the involved teams, the following list should be worked on by everyone. The first is suggestions for repair. Pen testing should not stop at discovering vulnerabilities. The concerned team, which should include a QA member, should analyze the tester's findings and discuss on the remediation. Next is retest the vulnerabilities. Once the remediation steps have been completed and deployed, testers 
So you retest to check that the patched vulnerabilities did not surface during their retesting. And the final is cleanup. As a part of the pen test, testers update the proxy setting. Therefore, cleanup should be performed and all the modifications should be reversed. Now let's check on the penetration testing methodology. The first one is external evaluation. External penetration tests target a firm's internet visible assets such as the web application itself, the company website and the email and the domain name servers. The goal is to obtain access and extract useful information. Then we have internal evaluation. In an internal test, a tester having access to an application behind the company's firewall mimics a malicious insider attack. This is not always emulating a renegade employee. A common starting point is an employee whose credentials were obtained as a result of a phishing attempt. Next is testing in the blind. In a blind test, basically, a tester is merely provided the name of the targeted organization. This provides security personnel with real-time view of how an actual application assault might occur. Then we have double blind evaluation. Security workers in a double blind test have no prior information of the simulated attack. They won't have time to shore up their fortifications before an attempted breach, much like in the real world. Now, let's discuss about the steps for pen testing. So, the first step is preparation and reconnaissance. The first stage entails defining a test scope and aims, including the systems to be addressed and the testing methodologies employed. For example, obtaining intelligence, network and domain names mail servers to better understand how a target operates and potential weaknesses. The next step we have is scanning. The following stage is used to determine how a target application will react to various intrusion attempts. This is done usually with two processes. One is static analysis and the second is dynamic analysis. If we talk about the static analysis, it is a process of inspecting an application's code to estimate how it will behave while operating. These tools are capable of scanning the full code in a single pass. And if we talk about the dynamic analysis, it is a process of inspecting an application's code while it is executing. This method of scanning is more practical because it provides a real-time view of an application's performance. Next, we have gaining access. This stage employs web application assaults such as cross-site scripting, SQL injection and backdoors to identify weaknesses in a target. To understand the damage that these vulnerabilities might inflict, testers attempt to exploit them by escalating privileges, stealing data, intercepting traffic and so on and so forth. Next, we have the access or maintaining the access. The purpose of this stage is to determine whether the vulnerability can be utilized, maintain a persistence presence in the attack system long enough for bad actor to get in depth. The goal is to mimic advanced persistent threats which can remain in a system for months in order to steal an organization's most sensitive data. And finally, we have analysis. The penetration test results are then collected into a report that includes the particular flaws that were exploited, access to sensitive information, the amount of time the pen tester was able to remain unnoticed in the system. Security experts use this data to assist tune an enterprise web application firewall setting and other application security solutions in order to patch holes and guard against future assaults. Now, let's discuss some of the pen testing tools. So, for penetration testing, you can go for free pen test tool or Vera code, burp suit. NetSparker and Zap. So these are the tools available for pen testing. Now let's look at the important certifications for web testing. First, you can go through Offensive Security Web Expert Certification course, which is kind of very good course for pen testing certification. Then you can go for GIAC Web Application Penetration Tester Certification. Moving ahead, you can try for Certified Web App Penetration Tester. At the end, you can go for eLearn Security Web Application 
Penetration Tester Certification, which is considered one of the most renowned certification in the cybersecurity domain. That was all for today's session. I hope so, you would have got some idea regarding the important penetration testing certification and what is basically web pen testing. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath provides an advanced certification in cybersecurity by EICT Academy IIT Guwahati. You will get to learn the most important concepts such as ethical hacking, penetration testing and network security in this course. You will get to learn from IIT faculty and industry experts. Reach us out to know more.